Well, can you guess what type of guitar this is? Not the style, but who makes it? Who makes this flaming guitar? Well, it's a Gibson, isn't it? Les Paul shape. Two humbuckers. And we're going up and we see that it's an Epiphone special model, special two. And I have to take this apart, clean it, check it, and give it a good thorough going over. And we'll follow up and tell you more about it as we go along. Well, what do you say now? Have a nice day now. It's an Epiphone, Les Paul special. The write-ups for it say it's a hidden treasure and that the humbuckers are extra special quality. It's only a $200 guitar, 200 pound guitar. Let's not quibble over dollars and pounds. Uh, but it feels good. It's very dirty. I don't think it's been played for a long time. So we're, I'm looking to see what it needs to get done to it. Obviously the strings need to be Oh, and that's tuned the wrong way. Somebody put the string on. So I'm going to do my usual uh, patient unwinding of the strings. <laughs> and what do you see when Georgie girl come running? I think she's behind me. Yeah, she's stretching. She's on her bed. How can cats sleep so much? Try not to make her bored. Uh oh, here she comes. Uh, hello there, Georgie girl. You heard the strings, didn't you? Am I going to get working or is it cuddle time you want? You're very cuddly these days. And that's okay. I like you being cuddly, but you see at night time in bed when you want to cuddle up and you're all, and I'm all hot and sweaty and you want to cuddle up. And that's twisted for some reason. Oh, look, she wants to cuddle. All right, here you come. All right, pause for cuddle time. Okay, that was a little five minute cuddle. And uh, now it's time to annoy me by playing with the strings, isn't it? Isn't it time to annoy me by playing with the strings? Right, so they go in the bin, and you just let them, no, she won't let them stay in the bin. She'll pull them out of the bin. This is just dirty by the look of it, but there are a couple of things on it that I see that might be a problem. We'll have a good look in a second. I'm going to plug it in and test the pickups. Those knobs, just fit, they just look wrong. We'll see. Let's plug it in and see. Mm. Oh, the electrics look okay just very dirty. Maybe it's uh, the shape of the body makes the knobs look like they're... Anyway, that all cleaned. Let's check the neck now. Uh, neck's got an underbow. It's a bit too much of an underbow, so let's fix that truss rod. So we need to give it a bit of a, a tighten. Let's hope it's working. That looks almost 100%. Let's give it another tiny. Oh, nuts come off. Magnifique. Magnifique. Okay. Let's just check the tuners. 
they'll feel good. A little bit light on it. Oh, there's no screw. There's no screw, so let's have a look at the back. And pull the jack plug out. Epiphone. Oh, so they're just little cheap tuners. So they're they're okay. They're little cheap tuners. I must have a dozen sets of those. So this can now go in the bin. Have you finished with it? She's finished with it. Okay. Uh, neck. Let's check the frets. Just on that side. Beautiful shape. No edges on this, that's for sure. A touch more. Very good. Indeed, very good indeed. Right, okay. Now let's polish this. I'm not going to scrape it. It doesn't need to be scraped. Just going to polish with a bit of sandpaper. And I think I'm going to go daft and use thousand. While I'm at it, I'll just clean the jack plug, even though I didn't hear any crackling. Just too, too large, too large. That's slightly loose, so I'll give it a clean and a tighten. The nuts loosen it. These are antibacterial wipes, which means this guitar won't get COVID. Are you allowed to mention COVID on YouTube? You get blocked, banned for not for not uh, follow, towing the line. So my friend is in Malta and she's with her family in Malta and they're away out to see the opera. It's a sort of opera and pop music, rock music together. They're away out to a concert and she's sending me pictures. There's four of them there and the opera singers are singing and the person beside her who went with her is completely asleep, fallen completely asleep. And the other two on the other side of her are on their phones, on Facebook and YouTube, in the middle of this open air concert in the middle of Gozo in Malta. The other two who are on their phones and YouTube are youngsters. They're in their late 20s. But you have to ask yourself, why did they go in the first place if they're just going to sit on their phone? They traveled the whole way to Gozo from Malta, which is about an hour's trip in the car. It's not a pleasant trip. It can be a pain in the ass to get down to Gozo. So why do that? Why go to those concerts? Yeah, actually, she sent me a clip of it. And it's a very nice concert. It's got some beautiful singing. Uh, and, and it's a sort of a mix of trying to say here's the way cl classical music is sung and here's the way pop music is sung, you know, with opera and things like that and all. The kind of thing that I really love. 
and to see the one the woman beside her sleeping completely out for the count head down on the chest and the other two on YouTube you sort of go I'm gonna work on this side now just clean this up but I don't have to earn my money at it it's a, bit, it's a bit prettier. You can't see it. Now let's look at this body. This body. And there's a chip back there, right there. There's a chip right on the orange part. This is the antibacterial wipes. And you know the reason why I'm using antibacterial wipes? because you got them for 80p for a 200 in a packet. Ah, yes. Right, okay. Still having to think about doing something with that. It's a chip. I could you see, it's because it's sunburst. It's red there and orange there. You never get it right. I might think about putting something there. Okay, that's me. I'm so hot. I'm sweating. Sweating? Love, I'm sweating. Okay, forgive the fan. Just going to put this on. Just going to put the nut back on and use a tiny bit of super glue on the actual fretboard just to hold it in place. It'll snap off at any time it wanted. Okay, and put that on. I like these. Did I say it? I think I said this. Oh, who is this? Gary Andrews Brute Boilers. As you see, I'm not getting a lot of peace today. Because what I'm doing is, it's, it's daytime. And my job is a ma energy manager for a, a, a big group of hotels. But I, I work till 8 and 9 o'clock at night for them. So today I decided, no, I'm going to do guitars. Because I usually end up doing guitars late at night when I'm grumpy. Well, not grumpy, but tired. And I had a groan earlier. <laughs> I'm not so groany today. <laughs> so putting this little Les Paul special epiphorm back together today. Okay, I, I'm just talking to myself. Oh. Hello, Georgie girl. Are you gonna want cuddles? I want to do some bit of work. Just let me let me, let me do a little bit of work. All right. Mister Thingy's gonna to have to replace the strings because these are good elixir strings, and I'm starting to run out of strings. So the gentleman uh, who brought me the J C Cal guitar will replace those strings for me. Elixirs. My mate swears by elixirs. I think these little epiphone Things are very underrated. I think they're, they're a lovely little guitar. So, my camera said I ran out of SD card. When you delete something like that, oh, there's a phone call. Hold on. I'm not getting any pace. I told you why, didn't I? Two seconds. Right, here we are again. Where was I doing? I, Georgie girl chewing something. Right, so this is all too low. It's all too low because I straightened the neck, so this has to come up 
let me look for the right size screwdriver and even then it doesn't go in far enough what I've noticed and I don't think I can show you very clearly on this head but there's some speckles and spots on it and I got a feeling it's I tried taking them off or, or, I tried taking them off with uh, now you can't see them there but I tried taking them off with white spirit and it didn't work so I'm going to do a test with acetone to see if that will take them off because it, I'll, I'll, I'll show you I think on the phone I can show you what I mean let me just see yeah there's one right below the H it's right below the H there's several of those across the whole guitar it's like somebody up there too at the corner like somebody had been spraying something else in the room and has been spliced but the whole guitar there's more there so let's see what acetone does for it do a little trial first of all to make sure it doesn't do any damage to this guitar paint I doubt very much it's uh, let me just see just do it there no, nothing coming off I'm glad to say just dirt right okay I think I'm going to have to boringly work away at this and I don't think there's any point in unless somebody else is trying to get me David does a stick in the back right okay usually I'm not just as hassled as this today but uh, I'm going to have to switch you off I think what I'll do is I'll switch you off and I'll clean that and I'll clean the spots on the guitar let me just show you there's one there's a particular if you look, I'll do this in the video and I'll plug it in. But if you look, it's got little spots on it. And they're not cleaning off. Don't know what they are. Okay. Well, I did say I'd fix that nut, didn't I? Let me look at my long nose pliers and see if it's going to be easier than I thought. It's not a nut. It's just a serrated edge. Yeah, it's not going to be as easy as I hoped. That's going to have to come off. Ready? Let me just put my hand in the back there to try to hold it. Oh, I can. I can hold it in the back. A little drop of squirty squirty would have been handy. Get how rusty that is. Rusty dusty. That's a bit better. And I'll have to see now if I've got a washer like that. So pause. Well, no, I don't. So I'm going to have to sand this and polish this and treat it. So I'll come back when that's done. Oh, I was telling you all sorts of things there, but I forgot to press the record button. I put that switch back on, but as I was doing it, I turned the guitar and I knocked a full can of coke, a brand new full can of coke onto the floor. <coughs> right, and so I was complaining about black guitars having to be polished all the time. And then I put this back thing on and I noticed there was all white powder on the inside because the polishing compound, they were messy with it. So I painted it all black inside. But you missed all that because I forgot to press the bloody record button. Anyway. Maybe I should stop. I said it to myself I'd rewire the house, uh, rewire the, the studio today. Oh, I just stood in some wet coke. Nice. What I'm going to do, what am I going to do? 
I'm going to put the knobs on and I'm going to tune this guitar up and then when I feel more like it because I'm now annoyed because I'm so stupid spilling the can of coke and so that's both on so I get just get her tuned up oh intonation's good there but I'll do the intonation later because I'm fed up now I'm wrecking too many things so I'm stopping yeah right okay might come back later this evening okay now it's evening a dull light outside and I think it actually gives you a better light but during the day when it's bright it gives you a very contrasty light and you can't see it this guitar is going home I'm going to just play a couple of chords on it in a second but I still have this issue here and I'm thinking something like oh just something to hide it let me just look something like maybe that just on the end dead center to hide that because you can't cover it now what I might do I've looked at silver and I've looked at copper and I think that uh, I think that mm, I think silver probably is better isn't it now I thought I was going to say a dismissed silver maybe that's too big maybe a little small silver album but uh, yeah silver so, but it's not my guitar and I'm not going to glue it on so what I have probably do is I'll put it on with double-sided tape uh, for the moment and if the chappy wants to keep it he can keep it if he doesn't want to keep it then we just go like that there so I'll put some double-sided tape on and stick it all right okay two seconds now this double-sided tape is fierce this is the kind of double-sided tape that builders use to stick flooring on oh I didn't know it was white hmm it's white and I don't like the white behind it I was hoping there'd be crystal clear what would it look like with the white on it no it takes away from it so I'm gonna have to use a scalpel to cut around it so back again in a minute ah dear oh it really does help if you press the button and record doesn't it well here's this now this is the second time I'm showing you it Firebird, whatever it is, Les Paul Special by Epiphone. Looking well, much nicer looking than when it came in. As you see, I haven't done the uh, little digit thingy here yet. Uh, the double sided tape just wouldn't work. And I don't want to put super glue on it because I don't want it permanently on it. So I'm going to use some PVA glue, which is on the medallion, and I'll stick it on when it's sort of almost dry. Uh, but PVA glue will come off again fairly easily so here you are very nice little guitar very underrated guitars that I'm using here. I'm having to twist right around to get to it because I'm not I should have a strap on it. But there you go. Can't reach, can't reach. Anyway, I'll show you the medallion on it when it's finished, but it's going home to daddy now. Okay. <laughs> 